Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect Systems video show coverage for the Festival of Sound Music and Audio show. We'd like to thank our show coverage sponsors, Telerium Q Cables, for helping us make this show coverage possible. Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. It's day three of the Festival of Sound Hi-Fi show in London 2018. I'm in the great British Dream Team Hi-Fi room with Scott from CAD, Computer Audio Design, Nick from Trilogy, and Luke from Wilson Banesh. Now we've got a really incredible Hi-Fi system behind us, which the guys are gonna tell us a bit about. There's lots of new products in here. We've got new products from CAD, from Trilogy, and new speakers? Uh, yeah, new enough. New, new enough. <laughs> lots of new stuff to talk about, which is really exciting, and you know, thanks to the guys for coming on camera and talking to us. So what I'll do, I'll get out of the way, fire some questions from behind the camera, let the guys kind of show us the kit and tell us about it, and then we'll do a, a song demonstration for you after. So. Take it away. Scott, do you want to start us off? Sure, okay. Uh, again, my name's Scott Berry. I'm the engineer. I do all the design work for the CAD components. And I'll kind of go through what's, what's here on the rack. Um, uh, this box up here is the 1543, I'm calling it the Mark II uh, DAC. And it's, it's a bit of a prototype at this point for the new version. The, the original 1543 DAC uh, came out a little over eight years ago and I'm starting to play around with some different materials, uh, trying to improve sound quality. This uh, case is made from a, a mineral-based composite. It's quite a bit heavier than the normal acrylic case uh, that we've been using for the past eight years. Uh, the inside, of, uh, I've, I've done some modifications to the digital interface, which is um, uh, something called I2S, uh, and, and those three signals, and I'm, I'm doing some modifications on those, which are somewhat non-standard to try to decrease the frequency uh, is also going to decrease the power, decrease the noise going to, into the DAC chips. Uh, so th th that's an exciting project right now. Uh, the next uh, unit down here is the CAD audio transport. I've uh, probably heard about that before. It's been around for, oh, again, well over five years. And this is the first time that this unit has been showed. Everything inside of it is brand new. It's the new upgraded version. Uh, we're going to have some people that, many people have the old version out in the field already. Um, those are upgradable, uh, but it's, there isn't a single part in this that is uh, in the old uh, CAT. Um, and so it's, it's new USB interface, new motherboard, new, uh, all new filtering board, uh, everything's new. So it's, and I, I, it, it's a big step up from, from the old, old unit, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, well, this is the power supply for the server. Uh, we're using ground controls. These ground controls are products that reduce high frequency noise in your audio components signal ground. Uh, it's quite a bit of a lot to say there, but they're, they're fairly simple is that they can connect. If you have any unused uh, RCA, XLR, USB connectors uh, on your equipment, these connect to those and it, it, it gives a link from the product uh, into the ground control. And the ground control contains components that convert high frequency energy into heat. And when that's done, it will reduce that noise th that's inside of your audio component. So right now we've got this large, it's called the GC3 ground control, is connected to the Trilogy 993 mono amplifiers. So we've got this connected to that. We have the smaller GC1 is connected to the uh, CAD audio transport, the CAT, and the other one here is connected to both the 1543 DAC and the Trilogy 903 preamplifier. And that's what we're using today. Uh, we, we, we also, we have some, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll let Nick talk about that. We have some isolate um, power conditioning on the back. I think if people are interested in the ground control products, we've filmed some demos with me before a previous yeah. show. So obviously I'll put a link up in the corner if people are interested in seeing those. But they're fantastic products, they work really well. Um, it's interesting that you're developing the products more, Scott, because you've already won loads of awards, haven't you, at shows and stuff yes. for, yeah, for, the, for the cat and for the uh, DAC as well. So. Yes. Um, Nick, do you want to tell us a bit about the, a little bit about Trilogy actually, because it's a fairly new company to me. Even though you've been around twenty eight years, you were saying twenty eight years old. Yeah. Yes, so we're sort of fairly under the radar actually. I tend to prefer designing products than actually going out there and telling about them. <laughs> so this is all a bit embarrassing for me. Um, yes, but we're we're London based. We're in near Greenwich in London, and um, uh, so most of our products are all, our preamps are all valve. Yeah. Uh, but over the last ten or fifteen years, most of our power amps have become valve input stage with solid state output stage. 
What, why would you choose those? Why would you choose that philosophy? Or well, I, I, I love all valve amps. Okay. Um, we started off in 1990 with with tube products, but you know you, there is unreliability with the, out, the output tubes. You know the issues with children, the heat, the unreliability. Uh, and if, like me, you run your amps all day and play music all day, you know every year you're replacing quite an expensive set of output tubes. We've managed to get hybrid amps these days. I think to get almost m fractionally behind the fluidity of an, of an all valve amp, but real world drive capability, which for most people is, uh, you know, very very important. It's perfect, isn't it? Really, yes. in most in most yeah. instances. So behind us, you've got the two brand new monoblocks. Is yes. that right? These are the nine nine five Rs. These are our first reference product since uh, two thousand and one. In fact, so to to carry the uh, R suffix. So, yep, they're 200 watt monoblocks, they're balanced, um, all, all valve voltage uh, gain, and then a, a balanced bridge output stage, 200 watts into 8 ohms conservatively, or switchable to 40 watts pure class A. Oh, wow. um, and they're choke input pass splice, which is something we really are into, and that's not a choke input on the valve stage, that's a, a huge choke being used for the solid state output stage. Okay. What is the benefit of using that in the design? Uh, much lower noise okay. and choke itself actually stores energy so you just get a fluidity and an unbridled, what's the what's the right word here? Un, un, smoothness. Uh, smoothness, yes. Okay. Um, Pace okay. timing. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's to deliver basically better audio really. More oh, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, pace, better, pace more than timing. That's yeah, what we're all about. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I think uh, all our newer products now, uh, Simon Dart designed them and he's uh, done a beautiful job of making a very sculptural design. Oh, uh, well, visuals you mean, because they are really striking. I think all the products you make are really Thank striking. You. They're really Thank nice. Thank you very much indeed. And you've got something else that's new. But you it's the 915R preamp. It's the line stage to go with it. Okay. Um, it's again, truly balanced from input through to output. And it's our first product to actually be transformer coupled. We've got the excellent Lundahl output transformers in it uh, with four 6H6 Pi uh, driver tubes, very high bandwidth, um, and it's a, a fabulous pre. Sadly, it didn't quite make it today. We were, we were a day behind with our software, but um, it, it will be launched. Uh, well, both products are starting to ship okay. in three weeks' time. Oh, uh, well, so something to look forward to in the future. I hope so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, look really, they look really nice, obviously, really nice products. And Thank obviously, you. I'm interested to listen to them more. Thank you. Well, we will be shortly, I think. <laughs>